Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is all about the 991, and not just my 991, but uh, Chris's 991.2. Today's video is all about looking at the first gen and the second gen 991, and uh, to be perfectly honest, trying to figure out if I'm missing out on something. So let's go check it out. So the 991 was introduced in late 2011, early 2012. It had a 3.4 litre naturally aspirated engine with 350 horses. In late 2016, the second generation 991 was introduced. The biggest difference being the engine, the 3 litre twin turbo that kicked out 370 horses, just slightly more powerful than the first generation. The other big difference was the speed. Um, the 0 to 60 speed for the 991, the second gen, was almost a second faster than the first generation. There are also some interior and exterior differences and we'll cover those in the rest of the video. Hi Chris. How are we doing today? Good. Back in the Targa. Back in the Targa today. Yeah. So, welcome back guys. Chris has kindly offered to uh, come and play and record some video with me in his Targa. And uh, today's video is all about the first generation 991 against the second generation 991. Now, if you want all of the super technical specs and like a real proper comparison between the two, you need to go to Mick, uh, Nick Murray's channel, right? I mean, yeah. he's the best. He, he does all that stuff. You're not going to get that here. You don't come here for that. But you're not going to find any dogs in my car. No, well, yeah, true. And me too. No <laughs> dogs in my car either. Um, now, I would have gone for the second gen 991 um, if I could afford it. It was out of my price range. So, you know, it was out of my, uh, it was out of my grasp. Chris... You uh, managed to get the second gen. So why don't you tell me what you like about the second gen over the first, or it, it doesn't have to be over the first, but generally what are the five things that you love most about this car? First and foremost, probably over the first gen is definitely just the engine and the change that they made to the 3.0 turbo motor. Okay. Um, now, granted, you give I gave up a lot with sound from going from that naturally aspirated 3.4 uh, yes. in the base. Or I noticed and that difference. 3.8. Turbos, I mean, these are, it's just an amazing, amazing engine. It's just, I can feel I, it. I can, vroom. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, I mean, so, probably the only other maybe difference is a little slightly cosmetic. I do like the, the front turn signal lights on the, uh, on the nine, the generation, the second generation versus yours, as you would call them, the, uh, the eyebrows. The eyebrow, yeah, the they eyebrow are lights. unfortunate. Yeah. And, and I, and I guess, you know, to the guys, the tail lights as well. I mean, just that little bit of, they've added the three dimensional light. Definitely. Um, yeah, um, definitely. Light like the Macan that started out back when they launched that. Um, so, I mean, those few things, I mean, subtle things. Otherwise, for the most part, the car's about the same. I don't have an Apple phone, so I don't even get to use Apple CarPlay, but yeah. I mean, Interior wise, there's no virtually no difference other than the updated PCM and, and a few little. Yeah, I, w I would agree. I think interior wise, I, I really like your steering wheel, um, which is an upgrade. Yes. Yeah, interior. I think the interiors look very similar, but I do like your steering wheel, and uh, I do like how the PCM looks like it's sort of. Oh my God, that's amazing. I like how the PCM is, is better integrated into the uh, 
into the dash. It just looks a little, a little more slick. Yeah. My heart's jumping out of my throat a little bit right there. Oh yeah, kick it into sport. All right, we can have some fun here, Chris. All right. That's incredible. So, you know, I complain, well, don't complain, but one of the things I do really like about the first gen 991 is the sound of the naturally aspirated engine, but that sounds great. It sounds, sounds like, that sounds really it's good. okay. I mean, the sport exhaust would make it sound so much better. And yeah. You get that little bit more raspy sound that you don't quite get. Yeah. But God, that's that's really nice though. Yeah, okay, I like that. So what else? You like you like the uh, sort of minor interior tweaks. Yep. The the front running lights, the rear lights. What else? The Matrix headlights that you've got. Oh, they're incredible. Okay, yes. That's so good. Those are nice. So I didn't think about those. Yes, the up, the change that they made to the front lights are, are very very nice. Um, I think just for me personally, it's just the the change that they made with the engine. Okay. Um, I I've never driven. Um, I've driven the 4S, yeah. the, the Gen 1, but I've never driven. That's fantastic. Which does kind of tee up a future video, which is, would you, you know, in an ideal world, would you go for the manual gear, you know, the gear stick, the manual transmission, or the automatic and the PDK? I call it PDK. You think I'm so? sorry. I know I'm going to get flamed for it, but no, PDK. <laughs> Even though you own a second gen 991 manual, yes. you'd go PDK. Which is incredibly rare to find, but yeah. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going PDK. Yeah. For well, day to day, I mean, this is my daily driver. I drive this car, you know, virtually everywhere. Sitting in, I mean, for the few minor times that I do like having a manual, it doesn't weigh, overweigh the... Um, the fact that I wish I was just PDK because it's just easier to drive. Okay. Um, sitting in traffic, you know, and your leg goes numb after, you know, yes, 20 yeah. minutes and yeah, yeah I fair. Would prefer not, you know. Well, I would say having had a manual 997 and now the PDK and the 991, as much as I'm a big fan of manual transmissions, to me it's all about the PDK. I feel like I've probably lost a little bit of out of the cool factor, the retro factor. Maybe, you know, some people think that you have more control with the manual, but the PDK like reads my mind. And if it's not changing gear when I want it to, the paddle shifters just make it so easy. Yeah. And you click, 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 and you go through the transmission and, and I feel like it's a Formula One car. Yeah. Pretty, pretty it's, amazing. It's lightning fast, faster than I could ever shift. And I'm not gonna say that I'm the best, you know, I'm not even gonna go down that road, but. Yeah, PDK would beat me every time. Fair dues, fair dues. So. so, generally speaking then, the 991.2 has a different engine. Different engine. It has some exterior uh, changes. Like, the front grille itself looks different. I mean, to the Porsche purist, I would say it looks very different. You know, the, the, mm -hmm. the, the lights, well, the, you air, get the, the air When they added the, in the Gen 2, though, now you get the active uh, grill shutters as well. Oh, yeah, so that's some, right. So those are now, those will close and open depending on, you know, yeah. when you first drive the car, they're closed to warm, heat the engine up, and then yeah. as they add aerodynamics. Yeah, that's later, right. That's right. drive down the road. Yeah. All right, so um, would you be kind enough to give me a drive? Yep. This will be my first drive of a second gen okay. 911. Do this, Chris. Now it's been at least a couple of months since I drove a manual. All right. What, what's that? Paddle down there for again? <laughs> <laughs> First. First. There's no. There's no handbrake. There's no handbrake. It's on the left. It's little button on the left under the dash. I'm so confused and nervous right now. Should we go? There you go. All right. Take the parking brake off. There oh. we go. What, really? Is it off? It's off now. Fucking hell. Jeez. I miss the old days, Chris, when there was just like a, you know, a handbrake. 
Oh, very slick. Yeah, it's very smooth. I mean, Porsche makes a fantastic manual transmission. You're, you can't go wrong with it. So when I first got my 997, the pedal, uh, the clutch was really heavy, um, but it was coming to the end of its life. And then okay. I got it replaced and it was, it was really it's nice like, and light and smooth, but it's nowhere near as light as this. That, yeah, there, this is, yeah, this, can't believe how light that is. That's really, really nice. I mean, space-wise, size-wise, it feels just like my 991, yeah. the first gen. I don't think they've made any interior changes, that, you know, yeah. size or... Notice how my key is also not rubbing against your knee. That's right, but why is mine? I don't, I, I think I, my, I don't know. There's, there's, there's something to do with your seat. Your I think seat. I've got a one-of-a-kind. <laughs> I've got a one-of-a-kind 911. <laughs> They made it especially for me, so yes. it tickled my knee. Yes. But yeah, that's not tickling my knee at all. I do feel, no, it's gotta be an illusion. I feel like I've got a little bit more room, but you, you said you think my wheel's a little bit bigger than yours. If, if your steering wheel feels bigger than yours, but maybe it's just because of the center cap. The, the yeah, rear, maybe. Airbag, the airbag just looks so big and I'm not used to it, so. But I, I do feel like I've got a little bit more room in here. And maybe the Targa roof? No, I don't know. Anyway, maybe it's the same. Maybe it's the same. I don't know. But it feels very comfortable. The uh, I can definitely tell the power gain over the manual 997. Um, this is what, 370 horses? 370. My 997 was 320, I think it was, or 325, just the base Carrera. My first gen 991 uh, base Carrera is 350, which is a nice little bump for me, but I can I can feel the gain here. Let's get around the corner and uh, and really give it some shovel. I'll try and not go off the road, Chris. Oh, that, that would be appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it on the road today. So, at the beginning of the video, I was asking myself the question, have I missed out by sticking with the first gen 991 and not going for the second gen? And For the very subtle things, I mean, Probably not. Okay. I mean, as long as you can live with some of the little styling changes. <laughs> I'm sorry, you were saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, it, it is It is quieter in here, isn't it? Yeah. You don't hear much. Good for conference calls. Yeah. Yeah. It, Definitely future cars need a sport exhaust that Yeah. And the new uh the new boxsters and K oh dear. Miss the gear? Sorry Chris. <laughs> uh, the new boxsters and Caymans come with sport exhaust as standard, I think. I think they need to because they that little four cylinder turbo yeah. that has to hit some sound, otherwise you're another fine. another plug for Nick Murray, I think in the video that he did recently. Uh, he was talking about, yeah, the four-cylinder now comes with a standard sport exhaust for free. I want one for free. I would like one as well. So, I, I feel like performance-wise, I mean, it's going to be very difficult to compare a naturally aspirated engine to the turbo. I, this feels slicker somehow, and I can definitely feel the power. Um, if we had PDK to PDK, I think it would be a, a fairer comparison, but mm -hmm. I think performance-wise, I'm not missing it out. I feel like this is definitely more powerful. It's a very nice ride, but it's not a huge difference from my first. And, and that's why I think you, you're not. There's not like there's. It's. It's not that big of a, a, of a difference that you know. You probably saved yourself. You know, is it was it worth maybe the extra twenty grand that you would have spent on a nine a point two? Performance yeah. wise, probably not. But I'm a shallow person, Chris, so let's talk about the look. <laughs> Didn't miss a gear. Didn't miss a gear. Yeah. Um, but yeah, looks wise, all right, maybe it's not worth 20 grand, but I love, love, love the front and the rear of your car. The Matrix headlights look incredible. The, the, little thin running lights instead of the eyebrow running lights that I've got. Um, the 3D, I, I mean, I just, I do, I really like that. 
Well, Chris, I, uh, yeah, I, I think I am in love with your targa, especially the targa, and your beautiful leather interior and your deviated stitching, your matrix headlights. But I think I'm still happy with my first gen. Wow, what a morning. That was the first time I've ever driven a second gen 911 and uh, second gen 991, and it was pretty special. But then again, so is this. I mean, come on. Any 911 is going to give you a rush and a thrill. So, you know, yes. Maybe Giselle is slightly hotter than Helena Christiansen. Maybe, I don't know. You can just go on and on and on. There are definitely differences between the second gen and the first gen 911, uh, 991. Um, the Porsche purists will know them straight away. The front grille, the lights, the rear lights, some of the interior tweaks. To the average car enthusiast, they're just two gorgeous looking 911s. And uh, as much as I uh, would have loved to have been able to uh, afford a second gen 991, this, this first gen one I've got is, is just, just fine. It's awesome. So, um, but you know, still, it's really nice to take it out for a drive. It's really nice to just daydream for a little while <laughs> about those things that you don't have, which you want. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. That manual transmission in the second gen 991 is so smooth. It is way smoother than the six speed uh, 997 that I had. Um, the, uh, the clutch was just super light. Um, there was really absolutely no play whatsoever going from gear to gear, even though I did miss one gear <laughs> shift. <laughs> but you know, absolutely awesome. So what do you think? Are you, an, are you a second gen fan? Are you a first gen fan? Um, and let me know, what other videos do you want to see? I've got some 997 videos coming up that I want to make before uh, the autumn goes and the snow arrives. Um, so watch this space. But let me know. Hit me up in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.